I'm gonna love you. What's going on everybody? My name is Wolver Guy. Welcome back to another franchise live stream commentary video. Now, uh, if you guys didn't see the last one, I highly suggest go watch that. But we have uh, a few games for you guys today and uh, there's been some key injuries that's happened in these videos and also some key moments which this NFC North battle is still pretty close coming toward the end of the season. Who's going to clinch? and who isn't. With that being said, we got our first game, which is going to be in Detroit. It's going to be the Detroit Lions versus the Chicago Bears. Can the Bears upset the Lions or vice versa? With that being said, let's get right into it. So, on our first play, the Bears have it wide open. Barkley right to Charles Clay. Charles Clay is going to get a huge gain, and he's going to go down to the 18-yard line, and that's going to be an automatic first down for the Bears. Later on in the drive, the Bears are looking to just hand the ball off to Lamar Miller. Lamar Miller trucks for a touchdown. That's going to be 7-0 Bears. Later on, the Lions have the ball. Phil Rivers with a fake handoff play action. Looking, gets a huge, tries to force it in there, and it's an interception for the Honey Badger, and that's going to be on their 37. So the Bears are looking to score. Looking, Barkley finds a wide open tight end. That would be Jordan Reed down to the eight yard line. Next play, looking, and Brandon Marshall comes down with a 50 50 ball. Didn't think he would get that with the way he got in the end zone, but he got one, two, possession, boom, that's another touchdown. So they're going to go up to a two touchdown lead over the Lions. So 14 0. Later on in the game, the Bears have it. Third and goal, looking again, and Marshall can't come up with it this time, so it will become a 17-0 lead in the second quarter. So, 17-0, screen pass, Rivers throws it in the dirt, so they will kick a field goal, so it will be back to a 14-point lead. Looking, Barkley's looking, tries to throw it, but he gets sacked. It's a safety, so it's going to be 5-17, Barkley runs out of pocket, throws it to Amara Darbo, and somehow Darbo catches it and gets stopped at the 50-yard line. Later on in the drive, third and 11, looking, runs out of the pocket. Barkley goes for a first down, gets hit sticked, but gets the first down. It's first and goal on the eight. The Bears are looking, throws a 50-50 ball to his tight end, and Charles Clare, I believe Jordan Reed, excuse me, comes up with that. So 24 to five in the fourth quarter, two minutes and 44 seconds. Rivers is looking to score, throws a ball wide open deep. Everyone misses some tackles, breaks some tackles, and Detroit will score a touchdown, making it a 12 to 24 lead. Tries to get the onside kick, but does not get it. And the Bears recover and stop the Lions from possibly clutching this game. But Phil Rivers later in the fourth quarter gets the ball back, runs out of the pocket, throws it, and gets a touchdown. But the Lions are looking, so they're going to try and get an onside kick once again. Can it fall their way after scoring? It being 19 to 24, a minute 27 left in the fourth quarter. The Lions go for the onside kick and don't, they don't get it again. And that's going to be a big, big turning point for them not being able to clutch this game. So the, the Bears in the pocket, Barkley finds a man wide open right side of the end zone, the touchdown Lions, and that will make him up to a 31 to 19 lead. But... Phil Rivers tries to go for the Hail Mary, tried to get some points on the board, does not come up, and that's a turnover on down. So, Chicago wins 31-19. to We're going to take you out to the next game, which we got Chicago versus the one, the only, the New York Giants. Can they keep this win streak going for their team and for a playoff push? But with that being said, we're going to head into the game. So, first possession for the Bears. The Bears get a huge play. Barkley gets a huge dot for a first down, but uh, they end up punting it away. But J Jacoby Brissett 
finds number 17 wide open for a touchdown, so they take a 17-0 lead. Barkley decides to run out of the pocket and gets hit and hit, lands on his hand awkwardly, and he would break his hand and would be out for multiple games. So, Joe Webb comes in. First play for Joe Webb. Throws it underneath and throws it nowhere near his receiver. That would be intercepted by a bush, and they're in Chicago territory. So, later on, the uh, excuse me, the Giants would look downfield. Brissett would find the man, and they would get a touchdown and go up 14-0. So, the Bears are struggling right now. So, later on in the game... The Giants have the ball back, they kick a field goal, and it's a 17-0 lead. So, later on for Chicago, they kick a field goal, and it's back to 14. Or, excuse me, it's 6-17. to 17. So, they definitely need to score a touchdown on their next drive to do anything. But, in the fourth quarter, when less than a minute left, the Bears are looking to go downfield. Joe Webb runs out of the pocket, looking, looking. Throws a dot, and it's incomplete. So now it's fourth and 29 for the Bears. Looking, they have to get this. He throws it deep to Charles Clay. Charles Clay does not hold on to it. So the Bears would lose 6-17. to 17. And coming up next, we have the Bears versus the Rams. Can they do something with the Ram against the Rams team with this Kareem Hunt uh, Adrian Peterson and Aaron Rodgers duo back or triple back threat. So, Joe Webb looking in the pocket, looking, and boom, finds a man wide open. Charles Clay would get a touchdown for the Bears. So, seven, or excuse me, eight zero. And on this play, Aaron Rodgers gets sacked hard. And he would get injured with a fumble occurring as well. He would not return and would suffer a shoulder tear. Now, next next play later on in the drive for the Chicago Bears. Hand off to Lamar Miller. He would truck in for a touchdown and make it a 14-0 lead. And they tried to go for two, so the lead still stays to 14. So Brock Osweiler looking in the pocket. Play action, finds a man wide open, Tyler Lockett for the touchdown, and the Rams would fight back to a 7-14 ball game lead right here. So later on in the drive for Chicago, Chicago looking in the pocket, somehow throws it off his back foot, Larry Fitzgerald catches it, and he gets stuck on the one yard line, so they do a play action fake, lob it to Deion Jones. Deion Jones would get his first touchdown of the day, so it would make it a 21-7 game. So later on in the third quarter, they tried the same exact play. Deion Jones again comes up with the ball, another touchdown for him. So the Bears would be up 28-7, but Brock Osweiler just says, here, I'm going to give it to Kareem Hunt. And Kareem Hunt jumps over everybody, goes past everybody for the touchdown, and it would become a 14-28 game. So the Bears have the ball back. Looking wide open man in the end zone. Charles Clay, come, or excuse me, Amara Darbo comes up with a play and a touchdown. So it becomes 35 to 14. And Brock just hand, just lobs it to his wide receiver. No one can catch 14. And 14 gets a 75 yard touchdown. So now it's only a two score game. Now, this becomes 35-20. to 20. So, Brock Osweiler looking in the pocket. Finds Tyler Lockett deep. Catches the ball. It would make it a 28-35 game. But, unfortunately, the Rams' defense could not stop the Bears' offense. So, that would make the Bears the winner of this game. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Until next time, take care. See you later.